gremlins. So I have a new flipping video. Seven things you should know about talking to dead people. Um, it is that time of year to where you start to see ghosts and spirits and such. The veil is getting thinner as they would say. Further ado, let's get into it. I just want to start the video by saying that if you are atheist, you don't believe in souls, um, click off the video because I do not want hate. I know I'm crazy. Number one is out of the way. You have to believe in a soul or afterlife to even, you know, engage with this type of behavior. And the second rule is to find a silent spot like old houses or spittles, maybe cemeteries or graveyards. A lot of battlegrounds or even native grounds in general have a lot of spirits, a lot of activity. Yeah, the most silent places are the scariest at night. Rule number three, offerings. Um, so basically like during Samhain, what I do is I make a, a dinner for my dead ones. I think that's very like, especially in Mexican culture, Especially in Japanese culture, like um, this, you know, offerings to the dead is very, very normal. It's also adored to let them in. And if you have a dead one, you probably know the full name of them and what they look like and who they were. Now, if you are calling anyone, I would highly recommend not to do that. Know their name, know where they come from before you start opening doors. And that leads into the next lesson, number four. So number four, stay away from portals, stay away from Ouija boards, stay away from the eclipses, stay away from mirrors. A portal is like a freaking elevator or a lobby. You're opening a whole town to your house, so don't do that, don't do that. With number five, protection, wards, sigils, structures that are in front of your houses that protect you, archways. Like some people have rosaries, some people have a cross necklace, even Bible prayers are protection. So wear it for the purpose of protection. And a sigil on your arm or a rune. Um, also part of protection is knowing how to close doors or how to close a portal or to keep whatever it is away from you is great because having that sigil, that room, that cross, that necklace, whatever, is going to help you the most in this whole excursion. All right, number six, drinking and smoking. So your mental health in the spiritual realm is like your immune system. So if you have bad mental health, um, you're letting in a lot of darkness on accident. Addictions, drinking like smoking, can actually open the veil for some people, you know, because those specific things do affect your vibration. So, especially with meditation, that is a form of protection. Also therapy, so you don't tap into a trauma or PTSD. You don't know if it's the person or is it something else like a demon. If you're an experienced worker, if you know how to protect yourself, and it just depends on the person and where they are in their spiritual whatevers. <clears throat> For the last one, number seven, the most important one, listen to them. Um, to identify them, you have to understand what they're telling you. Now, they'll tell you through symbols, sometimes they'll tell you through a vision or even a memory. They'll remind you of a time or a smell, you know? If you're listening and you get a headache, a ping in your ear, a sharp pain in your body, cut it off because that person does not want to talk to you. Communicate with you, they will. They will move stuff around and stuff like that. But be aware that you are alive. Be aware that they are dead and they already had their time. You have more power naturally because you are a living soul. So always remember that. Um, I'm not afraid. <laughs> I don't have like a, a fear in me about ghosts anymore. I used to as a kid, recognize what's evil and what's good. And most of the time they're a mixture of both. They're always good people, but they were definitely a person and they know more than you because they see more. So I wanna close it out with a quote that I found and I was like, wow, this would definitely relate. Those who open up to spirits will never be alone. 
thank you gremlins for watching um tell me in the comments if it's too scary uh if you want another video to get rid of these ghosts or poltergeists or something i will make that just tell me bye gremlins till another time Mwah.